Hey everybody, it's Emma. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today I am getting back on the Project Pan bandwagon. Doing it a little bit differently. I am kind of starting from scratch. I do have a few items that I'm carrying over from my last little series of Project Pan videos. And I also wanted to add in some stuff that's not makeup. <laughs> Let's get into it. So let me first just mention the few things that are kind of carrying over. So the first one is this Ulta Brow Gel. It's a sample, uh, and I've, I'm close to using it up. It, it looks disgusting, so I need to remember, if I buy a clear brow gel, look for one that maybe doesn't have a clear bottle. <laughs> um, this is nice when it's first applied. It doesn't look too gloopy or anything like that, but I find that it doesn't last um, at all for any length of time, really, and I would like one that actually lasts. So if you have any suggestions for a good clear brow gel, I would be happy to hear them. Uh, the next thing I have is this concealer. This is the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. I have it in the shade Light Ivory. I have mostly been using this, but I do also have the NYX HD concealer, which I just cannot fall in love with. I, I People love that concealer. I don't really get it. <laughs> this one I much prefer. It's still not as awesome as the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, but this is $6 and that one is 30. So I think I'll probably continue to use this um, slash try other things. It's difficult to tell how much is still left, but there is there's a dent in it. I don't know. Um, but I will yeah, hopefully be able to finish this up. The last kind of carryover is this Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Palette. Uh, Urban Decay is actually coming out with another, another round of this <laughs> for their holiday 2017 collection. So if you're curious about this palette, I don't have that palette specifically with those colors, but I can do a little rundown on the palette in general, but I, I want to justify having this. So in my last Project Pan video, I added this in uh, just to kind of motivate myself to use it more often. And I, I have actually, I would like to at least hit pan on all of these shades, if not eventually use them up. Right now I'm wearing the shade Amulet. It's, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. And I do like all of the shades in this palette. There's one, which one? Oh, Disobedient. Just, it's not my favorite kind of shade on myself, but I, I'm going to continue trying to focus my lipstick use in this, this thing. <laughs> so I've been thinking about doing another project pan for a while, but the product that kind of um, really inspired me to, to think about it is this Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. I was in Sephora recently and I was just swatching out the Locket foundations because I really like this foundation, but the color is not right. I have it in the shade Light 44. And when I was kind of playing around with the other shades, Light 43 seemed like it might actually be a really good skin tone match for me. But I thought I should probably use this up before buying another bottle. So I do want to do that. I really like this foundation, the way it looks on my skin. It's very full coverage, but it doesn't look weird. It doesn't look really makeup-y or cakey, at least on my skin. I have kind of oily skin, so that definitely helps. I know on drier skin people, this can look very cakey <laughs> and very weird, but on my skin, it works out really well. Right now, I'm actually wearing it with the Ordinary Serum Foundation, and I like this mix a lot. The Ordinary takes the coverage down a notch, which I don't hate, <laughs> and obviously it makes the the tone, it makes it bleh. Let's try that again. It helps this actually be my skin tone. So I do want to use this up, A, before it goes bad, <laughs> and B, so that I can get a shade that actually um, matches my skin tone. Next up is a little bit of a cheat because I'm already kind of almost done with it, but I really want to focus my use on this NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is the pressed version. The, the packaging is kind of broken. It's a really nice powder, actually. I like it a lot. It was 10 bucks. It's lasted me for a very long time, 
and it is the only truly translucent transparent powder that I have at the moment and it's also the one that helps to mattify the most so I do want to use this up and I do want to replace it with I would buy this again but because I'm me I want to try other things <laughs> I want to replace it with a powder that mattifies because other than this I don't really have one that does that right now the next item I want to kind of focus my use on and use up is this sample of the Too Faced water uh, perfect eyes waterproof eyeliner it's in the shade perfect black and it's a very nice pencil i got it when i ordered the chocolate bonbons palettes i've had it for a little while <laughs> it's, it's a very easy to use soft creamy pencil i actually don't find it to be waterproof i don't i don't find that it lasts in my waterline um at all <laughs> but it is a nice pencil i have it on most of my lid today uh, winged out with a, a liquid liner but this is what I have lining my eyes it's really great if you want to create kind of a smudgy smoky look and you know it's just one of those things that's that gets kind of lost in my collection it's it's short it's small <laughs> I don't keep it with my eyeliners because it'll get lost in there um, but I also don't see it where I keep it so I'm gonna bring this out into a more visible place and and use it up so that I can then start to work through my other eyeliners. <laughs> this next product is one I, I use fairly often, but I also kind of save it because it was limited edition and I love it so much and I don't really want to use it up, but it is at some point <laughs> going to go bad. So I would like to at least hit pan on this blush and glow trio from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Sunset Junction. I've talked about this before, but I think these are it's, it's the best formula face products that Wet n Wild has ever put out. I do have I'm Swatched here and the Perfect Eyes <laughs> liner. I had to refilm this because the sun started to do weird things. But anyway, we have the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. This highlighter is one of my favorite highlighters I've I've ever used ever. The bronzer is a really good shade for me. The blush is beautiful. They all have a little bit of a sheen. They're not sparkly by any means. There's no shimmer in them, but they look very natural and just blend into the skin really well. They last very well and um, they're just, they're, they're so, so nice. Next um, few products are not necessarily makeup. So the first one is a solid perfume from Lush and it's in Lust, Lust from Lush. This is one of those things that is going to go bad. They even tell you the expiration date on the back. So I want to start using it. It's a little bit, it's very floral, which I like a lot. Kind of that creamy, creamy sort of floral scent, but it is also a little bit heavier. So I found that it was just too heavy for when it was hot out but now that it's starting to cool down at least <laughs> for today who knows i can use this a little bit more and i would like to use as much of it as i can before it expires next is this tub <laughs> from soap and glory this is the righteous butter lost that rubbin feeling why not try the righteous bro butter get it righteous brothers i love and feeling anyway i really like this it's a very nice um, lotion. It's thick and creamy and moisturizing. It smells amazing. Um, but again, it's one of those things, you know, I have a bunch of different lotions and so I just kind of go back and forth, back and forth. And I would really like to focus my use on this, especially now that as the weather gets cooler, you know, it might get drier. I would like to use this up again before it starts to smell funny or go bad or anything like that. So, there we go. Last but not least is actually a brand new product. <laughs> I've patch tested it and that's it. And this is the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask from The Body Shop. Um, I have a very bad habit, especially with masks, of buying them, maybe using them once, and then putting them in a cupboard and forgetting about them until they do go bad. This is a $30 mask, which I, I don't want to forget about this and let it go bad. So that's why I am putting a brand new product 
into my project pan, I really want to use this. It didn't break me out in my patch test, so I can, you know, safely, hopefully, <laughs> start using this more regularly, but it's so good. My skin does tend to be sensitive to fragrance, but for some reason rose seems to be okay. So we'll see, but I do really want to actually use this and not just kind of forget about it in the depths of my medicine cabinet. And that is it for the time being. If you have any products you're trying to use up, I would love to hear about them. If you've tried any of these products that I've mentioned, if you have any thoughts, comments, smart remarks, let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know if you have any video requests, anything you'd like to see on this channel, anything you'd like to not see anymore, I don't know. Um, let me know. And I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.